Hello guys, we're doing a song today, another hired request. I'm getting these out as fast as I can for you guys. Um, I got a list that I'm going by, and this is called When You're Gone by Avril Lavigne. Now I have never heard this song. I'm a square, I guess. <laughs> um, never heard this song, but uh, someone had the sheets for it. If you have, if you're hiring me to do a request, following on, me on Facebook and all of that, and you have the sheets, it's cheaper that way because I don't have to sit there and listen and figure out all the notes. Uh, of course I have to do that if you're doing a live version, acoustic version, and you need, you know, the exact on a performance, then I have to sit there and listen to it. And that's fine, but if you got sheets, it's going to make it cheaper for you in the long run. So, uh, here this goes. Here's the free part one that I put on YouTube, When You're Gone by Avril Lavigne. have the melody in the right hand. Normally when I'm doing a, a song just you know for someone or just putting something up, it's gonna be what the artist is playing during the song because people want to play you know piano accompaniments and all of that. Uh, this particular one is gonna have the melody in the right hand so that's we can look forward to that it, it appears. Um, <clears throat> so anyway those of you who don't know me I'm Sean Cheek welcome to my easy piano lessons. I use the whiteboard to put up letters instead of notes for everybody that wants to play by ear. Just a different way to learn. <coughs> I can read music very well myself, uh, but I started doing this with my students who wanted to play by ear, and it's, it's worked very well for 20 years, so I'm going to keep doing it. Um, we're going to start here with this free part one. Of course, the rest of it is on my website, which is the way I make a living, uh, being a, a web piano teacher. And that's my site, webpianoteacher.com. And uh, follow, following me on Facebook is really the best way to get a hold of me, to see what I'm doing, to make a comment, to have a, you know, a quick interaction. Um, just do a Facebook search for, <coughs> excuse me, Web Piano Teacher. <coughs> excuse me. I have my voice today. I've been hollering, uh, yelling at a, uh, the kids' games today. You know, we cheer for them. Uh, the kids had baseball games today on Saturday. So I came home from that trying to get these videos out for you. Twitter. I also have a Twitter account. My name is Web Piano Teacher on there. I also have a blog on webpianoteacher.com that is free to read all the articles I've written about piano, music in general. Enough of that. Let's get to the lesson, all right? So we're going to start with the right hand here. Okay, so we're up here. Here's middle C. Here's the next C. We're up here. <clears throat> F sharp, G, E. Ba, ba, ba. And we're going to play three notes. And we're going to hold the third one. We're going to start with F sharp, go to G, and then to E. Ba, ba, ba. Okay? And then... Yeah, alright. The three times there that I wrote, that's for the whole measure, the whole box. Okay, so let's just play it through first, and then we'll do it two more times. So we do this again. Then again. Now that fourth time, we're going to do this. F sharp, G, D. And the best fingering for that is 2, 1, and then 5. You have your thumb underneath like that, okay? That works the best. Okay, so ba da 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 da. Okay? Now the left hand's gonna be on a middle C, and then go down to an E, and then up to a B. Now you play hands together here because I always write the letters, you know, right underneath, you know, the note. Um, <clears throat> but if they're not underneath any, or not lined up, then of course that note is by itself. So the B is the only note that's by itself in the left hand. So you're going to play together, ba, ba, ba. together here, left. Hear how that left hand just fits in there in the middle? So, okay? You do that a total of three times, okay? And you see me looking over this way. I'm looking at the sheet music because I want to make sure I got it right, uh, the sheets that the person gave me to go off of. So that's all I'm checking over there. Occasionally I make a mistake and need to fix it during the lesson. But let's do that first box three times. Here we go. One, two, left. Again. One more time. Now we get to something different. 
that sounds like this. Four. So that B is going to kind of go, it's a pickup note into the next measure. So we're looking at this section right here. And we have D, A, D in the left hand, octave in the fifth. So D below middle C, up to an A, then up to the next D. And then A, D, A, and then a D octave. Those two D's should be right underneath each other, or right on top of each other there. So those are played together. So D, A, D, and then A, D. And this D is the low D, not the high one. A, D, A, D. So ba, 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 like that. The right hand's doing a G up here. Here's middle C, so we're up here in this area. F sharp, D, A, A. So ba, 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 ba. And then that last B is here. <clears throat> okay. All right. Um, and I'm not quite sure if this arrangement is following the melody all the way or just chords, uh, but I'm, I'm following the sheets exactly on here so you'll get the idea of what's, what's going on. But uh, it may have a little of both. So the B is down here and then pick up there. All right, so this is going to sound like this. So we play left, 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 right, together, 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 together. So watch the G that you hold that G because you got there's a, a hold there in the rhythm. Ba 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 or ba 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 four. Ba ba and then we go here. So <clears throat> all right. So this B is here, and then we're gonna play. Uh, G, B, D, G. Next, there should be another G there. Let me change that. See, occasionally I have to make a correction. I have a little drink of my coffee while I'm headed over. Um, there we go. Wait, no, I had it right. I'm looking at, I'm looking at the wrong place. Ha! I skipped a measure. I had it right. I should have just left it alone. Okay. All right. I'm, I was thinking about this. <laughs> All right. So it's... That sounds like a melody to me. Yeah, it really does. Um... So this will be a nice arrangement for those of you who like this song. Um, <clears throat> this is the first time I'm playing it, by the way. <laughs> Usually just kind of hear it in my head as I'm writing it out and then get up here and do the lesson. But, uh, bum, bum, so that B, ba bum, we go straight over there. Alright, and then B, D is kind of fast. Let me do this so that it'll ring, uh, let you see that that's fast. Ba, 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 ba. And this is G and D together by itself, and then we're going to have A, D, and F sharp together, and then an E, and then D and F sharp together, and then a G. So it's So everything is just straight eight notes except this. These are the only fast notes. Alright, now let's look at the left hand. G octave. Two notes, the same two notes, an octave apart, an eighth apart. G, and then the G, the high G. And then we're going to reach over and do a B, and then back to G for that. Now this is an F sharp octave, two F sharps. And then we're going to play the high F sharp, and then up to A, and then back to F sharp. Okay, as you can see, the left hand lines up perfectly with the right hand, so there's no real rhythmic difficulty there. So let's do it at a slow tempo for you right here. Ready? Go. You want here? See how they're all together? Everything is together. No rhythmic difficulty. In fact, the only time you have a hand playing by itself is right here on this fast note on the right hand, okay? I kind of rushed that, but moving on. We have so all right. A 
Let's look at the right hand first, G, B, D, G. Now as always, if you have trouble playing those four note chords, just leave the bass note. Leave the bottom one out, play the top three. It's be a little less full, but it'll still sound okay. It won't, you know, really won't bother anybody. But if you can get all four, G, B, D, G, then you play that again. Now we're going to go to the right. We're going to move up to B, D, G, B. Play that. And then come back down to B, D, G. Now this is not a four note chord. Just this note. Just these three. And then the E. Okay, so it's mistake. Just a note I left out. Alright, so I didn't get away without making a mistake. So there's my there's my one mistake per board. Alright. <laughs> Alright, one, two, ba, 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 ba. So we have I have uh, quarter notes here. One, two, and then three and four and for those last ones. Um, one and two. left hand here. E octave. Down here, low. Here's middle C, so we're right here. And then we're just going to play the low E, and then we're going to play the high E. And then the low one, and then the high one, and then the low one. And at the end, we're going to do something up, up, bum. These two are fast. Those two G's. Bum, bum, bum. So watch those. It's one and two and three and four E and Okay, it's a six, two sixteenths and an eighth note there. Ba, 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 ba. So that's kind of fast there on the left hand. Now putting hands together, let's do that. Slowly. These are together. Left, together, left, together, together. Those are together. You might miss that unless I do this. Okay. <clears throat> now, that's together. Accentuating that so that you hear the rhythm. Alright. One and two and three and ba, ba, ba. Now let's start over and do it all together one more time, okay? And again, the rest of this piece song is uh, I completed it. It's on my website. Well, I'm about to do it right now, but when I upload this part one on YouTube, you know that the rest of it is on webpianoteacher.com for members. If you can't afford it or you don't want to do it, then please. You're totally welcome to the part ones I put on YouTube. That's great anyway. I think thank you for the views. But here we go, all the way through this part one. Second time. And here's the third time. slowly correctly okay if you can't play it slowly correctly then you're wasting your time trying to play it fast you need to uh, learn it uh, slowly correctly and then let it speed up as, as time goes on as you learn it so uh, I wanted to mention one more thing there's a little bit of a pause right here make sure you get that pause in did you hear that it goes pause there. I've played it through several times with it in there so you should be able to pick up on that. See you guys later.